All right, I got a request to uh, do a video on uh, how I uh, rig up my rods uh, when I'm running bait. Um, this is all for trout. Um, same setups I use at, at uh, every lake, um, with the exception of Big Bear Lake, but that's a completely different animal. I'll get into that some other time. Um, but I used to fish uh, Irvine Lake a lot back when it was open. They do obviously a lot of Parado and uh, uh, Santa Ana River Lakes. Uh, this is these are all the different rigs I use. They're basically uh, Carolina rigs. <coughs> all my rods uh, I use a four pound vanish on, um, but any four pound mono will do um, or fluorocarbon. Uh, I have never uh, seen any uh, decrease or increase in bite rates whether I was running two pound or four pound. Uh, problem I had with two was they had uh, a lot more uh, uh, break offs. Uh, than with the four. Uh, the four seems to be strong enough even for, uh, you know, I've caught up to a nine and a half pounder and uh, had no problems. So um, basically a standard slip singer Carolina rig. One thing I did find recently was these uh, little deals called Carolina Keepers. Uh, found them at Walmart. I think Turner's has them too. Uh, but these things are pretty awesome. Um, they also have red ones, like I have a red one right there. But uh, Rig this up just like it says. You put a bead before your sinker. Use about an uh, eighth ounce sinker, sliding sinker, and uh, pop one of these deals on there. And what they do is they have a little slit in the middle, which you probably can't see on these because it's clear. Um, but it's stout enough to use a pair of needle nose pliers and grip onto the side to open it up. And then you can move the keeper to any depth you want. So. Um, one thing I found fishing for trout is, is uh, they change their mind constantly throughout the fishing day. So sometimes they want it at 12 inches, sometimes they want it at 6, sometimes they want it at 18. Um, but with these, you can change that pretty much instantly and, and get back right out to the fishing. So as far as hooks, um, I'm big on treble hooks. <clears throat> I use, this is a uh, probably a, a 16 treble I use it I'll go as small as 18 but uh, uh, 16 or 14 is what I normally use um, especially if I'm running uh, inflated night crawlers I'll uh, rip them in half and put them right on a treble hook like this and then I'll uh, inflate them with a syringe um, just your standard uh, syringe but one thing I've found is I have a, a, a very small gauge needle on here I think it's an 18 or a 22 gauge needle and uh, what I found with that is it uh, works much better keeping air uh, in the night crawler as it doesn't put as big of a hole in it when you're uh, inflating it. You also have the holes from the hook and ripping it in half. So this really helps so you don't have to use the whole night crawler every time and you get a lot more uh, uh, bait for the day. Uh, another thing I like to use even still fishing is these uh, these power worms, these floating power worms in all the colors. It just depends. Like I said earlier, uh, uh, it just depends on what they're biting on to that day and it always seems to be different. You'll go there one day and it's one color and you go to the next and they want something else, Even sometimes even during the day. And I got one of these rigs set up here. If I can get it off of there. Ugh. But I got a very small, if you can see it in there, mosquito hook. I believe owner makes those same same type of rig. I use a Carolina rig on this, usually a little bit longer for a leader. And that small mosquito hook will allow this to float in the water. And it's so light, any movement in the water causes this thing to move. And uh, certain times, the, the trout just cannot get enough of these things. And one good thing about these hooks, these owner hooks, I found is they're, they're very thin. I use the size 14 there, which is a tiny, tiny hook. But uh, I have yet to have uh, a fish straighten that hook on me. It looks like they could very easily, but they're very, very stout. I don't know what kind of metal they're made out of, but um, I, I can catch multiple uh, fish on, uh, on one of those rigs uh, before changing the hook, and I've never had one uh, up and straighten the hook on me. As far as uh, rods and reels, um, I use pretty pretty small stuff. These are uh, five foot ultralight rods, and uh, I basically got them uh, 
with some, and these are older reels. These are uh, Shimano 500 series reels. Um, they're very inexpensive. I mean, uh, I think you can get the newer versions for under 30 bucks. Um, but these things uh, have always worked great. Like I said, I've, I've caught trout to uh, nine and a half pounds on these rigs. Uh, never had a, a problem with a rod breaking. Uh, never a problem with the reels. Um, and I, literally each one of these setups is probably under 50 bucks with the rod in the reel. Last thing I want to show you, this is actually one of my, my secrets. Um, some of you may know about it, but <clears throat> it, it's, it's kind of unusual how, how I came. It's, it's, it's power bait, but um, I'm real big on the, uh, the twist baits. You got your lemon twist, uh, your lime twist, and your orange twist. Now this stuff came out probably, I don't know, late 90s or early 2000s, and uh, uh, the fish seem to love all different colors. Um, usually when I fish in power bait, I'm using one of these three or all three throughout the day. Um, with a little bit of the new garlic bait, that works pretty good too now, but um, you can't find this stuff, at least in Southern California, in the stores. It's very rare, you gotta order online now. And I don't know why that is, but, uh, uh, and maybe because of that, the fish aren't used to it, but man, uh, this stuff's working. My last video, I was catching all those fish on uh, lime twist on this one. Um, the one before where I was fishing from shore, it was all this one, it was all orange twist. Um, and, uh, and lemon works good too. So, um, I guess that, that's, that's my biggest secret. If there is a secret that I have, <laughs> Um, is, is, uh, these power baits, if you can find them, uh, give them a try. They're, uh, the, the flavors, I don't know what it is, uh, something about the way they're, the colors are blended or, or, or what, but that these even work better than, uh, than rainbow. Um, so I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but they, they seem to love it, especially this, this, uh, lime. And if you put a little, uh, green colored, uh, green, yellow colored, uh, worm on there. As a little little trailer, um, it's just uh, it's just awesome. So, um, hope this helps. Um, I'll do more in the future on uh, some other things like some of the rigs I use for trolling and and whatnot. But this is this is basically what I do for bait. Um, pretty simple. Um, so uh, good luck and uh, hope this hope this helped you out.